Okay, people, so if y'all are like my family, you love banana pudding, and I have made this lots of different recipes through the years. You try to find different ways to do it. I used to make homemade pudding and, and put it together, but um, this is one, I don't know, I've had this recipe forever. I think it was one of my grandmothers had found it, but it is a quick and easy, no cook banana pudding that is probably some of the best banana pudding you've ever tasted. So I'm gonna make it today. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me show you how to do this. It's nothing to it. Two cups of cold milk. So we're gonna add the milk. And I'm using a five ounce of instant vanilla pudding. And y'all, this is definitely not low carb or keto friendly. Oh, sorry about that. Yeah, there's nothing low carb or keto friendly for this. This is for um, our family that's coming over the afternoon, this afternoon, and it's the perfect recipe to go with my fish fry. So I am mixing up the pudding and the milk. So you wanna whisk it for a couple minutes. Just make sure that pudding is all dissolved. I'm gonna add a teaspoon or so of vanilla. Whoops, it's more than a teaspoon right there. It's about a teaspoon of vanilla. And yes, I know the exact wrinkle in my hand that measures a teaspoon. <laughs> <laughs> the next ingredient is a can of Eagle Brand condensed milk. Again, not low carb, but, but delicious. Family friendly, <laughs> cheap, and easy family friendly recipe to make that people just rave over comfort food. So I am going to just stir the Eagle brand up into the pudding. I'm gonna mix those together. The next ingredient is a container of um, just whipped topping. I'm using the Cool Whip Extra Creamy, but it's you make sure it's thawed out. So I'm gonna fold the whipped topping into the pudding mix. Probably gonna save that bowl and wash it out. I don't know, do y'all save Cool Whip bowls? But with family members coming over today, I know there's gonna be some um, leftovers. leftovers to take home. So that gives me a, a, one container sitting there I can tell them to take something home in. Look at that, mm, nice and Look creamy. at that creamy goodness right there, look at that. Y'all, I could sit there and lick this bowl right now. It is that good. All right, so the next step, I've um, got our pudding sit, mix sitting here. So the next step is I'm gonna peel the bananas and cut them up. Do y'all do that like I just did? I do it from the, the uh, opposite side, on the bottom. And I just, for some reason, I, when I peel a banana, I like the way it comes out. You know what? This one right here, even though it has a little brown, it's going in a banana pudding and it's gonna give that pudding some extra flavor. So I am gonna use it up with no problem. Icing up my bananas to get them ready. And I have, well, how many do I have? So this is four and then two, four, six, eight, nine. So 13 bananas it looks like is what I'm using today. Just cut them into maybe third of an inch or yeah, so little sections. Yep. I haven't had a banana in so long. Oop, I'm not being keto. All right, so the next step is um, layer in your vanilla wafers in your bananas and I could make this in a pretty bowl a trifle bowl and make it all nice and fancy and and put the vanilla wafers and all nice and pretty but I'm not doing that today because I've got other stuff I need to prepare but I put a layer of vanilla 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 wafers on the bottom is what I used and um, I'm just layering up some cookies layering up some bananas then I'm gonna take the pudding and some mix. some of this delicious pudding, which I could probably eat this entire oh, bowl of. If y'all tasted this, you would go crazy. It'd be hard to put it in the pudding. It is so good. It really is. I took this to a party one night that was um, a bunch of our Cuban friends, and it was the fastest disappear recipe ever. And and it is, it's very sweet. And so if you, if culturally you like a really sweet, satisfying comfort food, banana pudding just can't be beat. 
Now time for layer two. Once you kind of smooth it out, then just go in, repeat with vanilla wafers, and then banana, and then and pudding. Some pudding. One more layer. I'm making it my container. You can make it in a bigger container. Um, my refrigerator space is also kind of limited today. So I made it in one of my bigger Tupperware containers. This is one that I happen to love. Don't y'all think Catherine should take orders for Tupperware? Anyway, um, so I'm making it three layers and just going up a little higher with it. So, and this, this one, see if she gets to be a Tupperware lady, Maybe I'll get a new two quart pitcher because I love this pitcher. I've used it forever. I use it for making pancakes. The lid is gone. It is 35 plus year old piece of Tupperware. And um, yeah, I've had this my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe I do need to sell Tupperware. It runs deep in this family. It runs deep in your family. Yes, it does. Your grandma was champion Tupperware sales lady for 20 years. So I really scraped this bowl because I want as much pudding as possible to come out into my thing. But if you're the lucky one who gets to be around when I'm finished, you're the one who gets to scrape the bottom. <laughs> that is so good. It is. I'm so excited to have a little serving of this. And put the last of the vanilla wafers. I'm just going to put them on the spread them out on the top. Whatever's left in the bottom of my bag there. They're not the pretty ones. Darn it. Oh well. Oh well. It doesn't matter if it's pretty. It matters. And if it tastes good and it darn sure does. So like I said, I've been making banana pudding all my life. Used to cook it from scratch till I found this recipe and it has just wowed everybody that I've made it for. So I hope you get to make it for you and yours and start your own family tradition and I love you being a part of ours. Thank you.